Morning, my friends. Let's have some fun with something I'm curious about. I don't know the official definition, the official classification. I don't know what an agnostic is. I know, and so do you, if you're far enough in these in this journey, all these things have become really comical. Like, um, atheist is nothing more than somebody that looks at the world and goes, ooh, that's too brutal. Ooh, I hate God, so I claim atheism. I claim nothing at all. Because when you get far enough in this journey, you don't get those decisions. That That's an ignorant decision. That's an ignorant thing, atheism. So um, I just think agnostic is another word for atheism. Is it going to turn out to be just as silly as the whole atheism thing? Some of us believe in gods, some in reincarnation, and some are unsure or believe. Well, in... well, even well, yeah. See, they said some people believe in gods. Yeah, that's all those fictional things and aspects of ourself, and the fairy tale stories that we all come up with human beings. Maybe that's what allows us to even have a belief system in gods itself. But you know, far outside of that. Um, the fact that existence exists, the fact that you exist, is what God is. So, like, none of us, none of us, it's not an opinion that anybody ha gets to have. It's not a belief system. The fact that existence exists is, is um, an evidence. Of pr it's more than an evidence. It's the truth. It's the proof. It's what it is. Um, it's very confused. It's all so vastly confused and our pea brains can't handle it. And yes, every single one of us human beings is going to look at planet Earth and go, Ooh, this is one disgusting, horrible place. Fuck God. And that it's basically, and then it creates a lefty. An atheist is always a default lefty and then starts getting triggered by the outside world itself then, then the the lefty gets so bad that they design their whole lives of oh hide me from the outside world the outside world triggers me so let, let's get on with it believe in gods some in reincarnation and some are unsure or believe it's the end of the road once we find ourselves six feet under no one really knows for sure but the quest to understand the truth and whether there is life after death has been a goal of humanity far before the first history books were written how are some of our belief and non-belief systems oh our ego is so a attached to this that anytime any bread it, it like an ignorant person they hear that word like um I don't know, religion. Ugh. They hear that word right there. And then they assume, they just assume, you must be talking about the afterlife. That's what we'll be attempting to find out in today's episode of the Infographic Show. Atheist versus agnostic. How do they compare? And what's the difference? Atheism is, in a broad sense, the unbelief in God or the belief that there is no God. Many See, the, when you get far enough in, the, in this journey, doesn't that sound hilarious? Doesn't that sound like, oh, you're really Bozo the Clown there. Whoa, whoa, you just said something really fucking wacky and, and really dumb there. Uh, it's like, you can't be serious with that. It's just like how people think that, um, how, could, uh, how could those people ever believe in Flat Earth? Uh, you, people don't understand that people really believe in all these conspiracies and they really take all this shit on as their belief system and it makes them fucking crazy then they're all cool with this atheist thing but it's like hey just the fact just the fact of existence existing you don't get to say <laughs> that existence doesn't exist Atheism is, in a broad sense, the unbelief in God or the belief that there is no God. The, Many... the unbelief in God, that would be the same as the un... That nothing exists, no one could... Well, we're... Hey, guys, we're all alive and we're all existing and we're talking and we're using a soul. And um, you don't get to go, atheism, it, the unbelief... It's like, no, you just said something really ignorant and you need to be educated is in a broad sense you, you need you need a, a basic like what first grade 
Educate, you need some preschooling here. Belief in God or the belief that there is no God. Many atheists argue that it's a label that shouldn't really exist at all, as we don't create names for other non-belief systems. For example, there's no word to describe someone who doesn't believe in astrology. If there were, we would probably call them non-astrologers. But in recent years, the atheist movement has become a lot larger, with many outspoken famous atheists, such as scientist and author Richard Dawkins or comedian Ricky Gervais. The two main... It's so... This part of it, since we're talking about atheists, if you have done that journey which is just I'll upload a video I'll, I'll help you out I'll do it for you all you got to do is just watch the video I'll, I'll upload a video of some Swami action and if you've never seen it it's gonna reveal to you how dumb this actually is a, a Swami who knows all the all about religion and the Gospels and, and in Eastern stuff, it gets real deep into the psyche with all the gods that they have that are aspects of you. And this shit is complicated and vast when it comes to Eastern stuff. Well, take somebody that's an absolute scholar in that. Then take Carl Sagan. Take a really fucking smart scientist that is hardcore science and slam those two together. And... When you see that, you're going to see our Western scientists are fucking idiots. Our Western scientists are missing half of science. And as, as me as a kid, I can see what happened. It's drastic. It's not a small thing. It, it's our Western scientist. I, I'm watching, let, let's put it this way. I'll take you on, on my journey. As a kid, I'm watching Discovery Channel and History Channel. And I'm watching all these real experiments, just like how in high school, people used to use real Bunsen burners and do real experiments. And I'm watching all the real experiments as a child and I'm getting older and older and older. Then all of a sudden the Discovery Channel and the History Channel started doing theoretical science on everything because they claimed that they couldn't go further in science? That, oh, well, we they claim that they learned everything. I mean, I almost feel dumb saying that. I mean, I almost feel like, whoa, did I just say some Alex Jones shit? And it's literally the transition from scientists doing real shit into theoretical science, and they claim that they know everything. We've learned, ev and what it is, is science is missing half of science. They don't have consciousness. It, see, what science did is that every single twist and turn, it ended at consciousness and then went, well, that's my barrier. Western science believes that, ooh, I'm entering the realm of religion. I'm supposed to be a scientist and scientists are supposed to be atheist. And religious people, those are crazy people that believe in God. And it would be science going into consciousness. So they claimed, since their barrier is they're not allowed to study consciousness and all the shit that we do, uh, all real things of real history, real school, all, all the real stuff. And they claim, oh, every time I hit consciousness, that's my barrier, my wall. I don't go past that. So I'll just claim that I learned everything. And since I learned everything and there's nothing else for me to do, I'll just start doing theoretical science, which is like pseudoscience. It's not real. I'm just making shit up, man. Within atheism are I mean, it just, all of this ended up to be, it's it's kind of sad. And a, a lot of this stuff is sad in a, in a lot of ways. It's the Matrix. I mean, it's the Matrix and the, and the part of the Matrix where the guy's eating the steak. And you're going to realize life is a lot more of a fabrication than you think it is. It, and, and all that demi-urge intelligence, you might as well shed that demi-urge intelligence because it's not serving anyone. All, all that paranoia intelligence thinking that somebody's fucking you over, the, the ego couldn't perceive how bad it actually was. The, per, the ego couldn't perceive that, that it was something outside of what the ego can perceive. Oh, when you find out that this, this shit is a clown show, this planet Earth shit, 
This is one big bozo the clown show. Our Western scientists, I mean, are just colossal fucking idiots. They're just tremendous fucking idiots. Called Gnostic atheism and agnostic theism. Those in the first group state that they definitely know there is. No how could you have Gnostic atheism? Oh, hold on, how am I how am I missing this? With many outspoken famous atheists, such as scientist and author Richard Dawkins or comedian Ricky Gervais, the two main divisions within atheism are often called Gnostic atheism and agnostic theism. Those in the first group state that they definitely know there is no God and can prove it. The second group are people who say that they can't prove it with certainty, but there's most likely no God. In his book, The God Delusion, Richard Dawkins suggests a spectrum of seven levels of beliefs from those who believe in God to those uh, who... Is it the belief? Is it the... Because I'm just thinking, this is very rational. This is very logical. I would expect a five-year-old. I would expect that it's a trick question and you couldn't ask the... You couldn't do the trick question to adults because adults have developed brains. And then you ask a five-year-old child and you can confuse the five-year-old child. And then you're like, child, what, what a silly thing. Just the, just that the, the whole fact that existence exists is the, the proof of God, whether we want to believe, it doesn't matter what we want to believe. It doesn't matter the attachments we want to, it doesn't matter that when you look at planet earth, Ooh, it looks real brutal. Ooh, it look, and I don't want to believe in God. Well, God isn't a belief system. The, the fact that, the, that you're alive, the fact that you're just alive. Dawkins suggests a spectrum of seven levels of beliefs from those who believe in God to those who do not. The seven categories that Dawkins popularized are one strong theist, which is someone with 100% probability of God being real. In the words of C.G. Young, I do not believe I know. How, so, how, how could how could anybody ever think that it relies on something that you believe in and, and we're going to have a warring um uh, warring opinions just like just like the lives we live now Let, let's have warring opinions about something that doesn't rely on your belief or opinion facto theist a very high probability but short of 100 percent. i don't know for certain but i strongly believe in god and live my life on the assumption that he is there three so maybe. so that's that's something that's not real either that's the believing in jesus christ believing in god jesus christ doesn't require your belief god doesn't require your belief but i strongly believe in god and live my life on the assumption that he is there three leaning towards theism but so every single time i say the word god i mean truly every single time i say you, you guys saw those gnostic videos the um the origins of Christianity series that you and I are making, you know, you, you saw the whole the whole explanation of how God is completely unknowable, and when you start trying to have ideas about God and all this, now it's not God anymore because we put restrict. Even saying the word God, that's why I say Jesus Christ. It's God through Jesus Christ because just the fact of saying the word God. All of now it's not God anymore because I've defined it. I've I've put God in a prison, and God is not a prison. God doesn't doesn't live in the prisons that I build. Higher than fifty percent, but not very high. I'm very uncertain, but I'm inclined to believe in God. Four, completely impartial, spot on fifty percent. God's existence and non-existence could be both possible. Five, leaning towards atheism, which is lower than fifty percent, but not very much lower. I do not know whether God exists, but I'm inclined to be skeptical. Six, de facto atheist, a very low probability, but short of zero. I do not know for certain, but I think God is very improbable. And I live my life on the assumption that he's not there. Seven, strong atheist, so, which is a person. So all, all these things is like low, low existence. If I, were, if I was a vibration person, I would say this is low vibes right here. This is vibrating real low right here, Swamp, swamped in your own ignorance. Would state just swimming through it, just, just, just swimming through it, believing in your own opinions and then um, believing that other people have opinions and then somehow you have warring opinions with other people. And of course that always ends in a, in a big nothing.
and everything that you know is a big nothing and your whole life is a big nothing and of course you would think nothing is real and nobody could know anything and your whole life is just more opinions and more ignorance and more warring opinions against other people and it, it's just this huge demi-urge of ignorance oh, is then then everybody's looking to blame satan this demi-urge. And they're like, okay, where's Satan? No, see, when when we went and looked for Satan, it like evaporated. It's like, where what where was it? Because it lived through all human beings in this absolute ignorance, just swimming in it. God with the same conviction as Jung knows there is one. It's commonly believed that an atheist would not waver from their belief and hold an extremist view, but actually many atheists do encourage open dialogue and debate between different viewpoints. So what about someone who is agnostic? The word agnostic is derived from the Greek- I, I wonder if it's the other way around when I was saying before, like maybe if you asked a child this question, like what is God, like does God exist? Maybe the child, without demi-urge intelligence and living its whole life in paranoia, thinking everybody's fucking it over, but the, the child might go, might see that, like, look at you weird, like, what do you mean? Just the fact that I'm alive is what is, like, an evidence, a proof, is what is, is like, the first question that, that we could pose in, what is God? But... That's a credible, logical, makes sense. If we said, if we, if a father said to his son, what, or, or said, yeah, what is God? Now we can discover and everything already makes sense. But if a father said to a son, do you believe God exists? That's like a trick question right there. The child should find that as, as, like, whoa, what what happened right there? That's the same trickery in the Garden of Eden that got um, innocent Adam and Eve to eat the to eat the whole apple in the first place. It is a question like that. We have regular questions like, what is God? Okay, that's a regular question. A trick question that could really fuck you up and throw you into the trees of good and evil is this really weird, manipulative, backwards communist argument question of, do you believe in God? So what about someone who is agnostic? The word agnostic is derived from the Greek word gnosis, which means to know. And the A... See, I knew it would be something like this. I knew... I didn't, but I don't want to have assumptions, of course. But it's not going to make sense. And it's taken from the word gnosis. You and I have come to figure that nobody knows what gnosis is. It's only you and I that just understand you take your teachings of Jesus Christ. Then you live your life to figure out what they mean. How the fuck did they take that apart? How the fuck did they take it that apart to make their alternate science? I, I'm thinking that this agnostic thing is somehow like scientific atheism. Because somebody like uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson is going to be an agnostic and debate between different viewpoints. So what about someone who is agnostic? The word agnostic is derived from the Greek word gnosis, which means to know, and the A, which is used to state the opposite. So literally translated, the word means not knowing. Thomas Henry Huxley, an English biologist who lived in the 1800s. Oh, so it's an atheist. That, that's a Tim Pool. It, it's a fake middle path that's like on the more on the left. It, it's a... um. It's a thing where you're definitely on the blue pillar. You're definitely doing Democrat stuff. And you're, it, this is, it, it's, it's a prank. You're afraid that the YouTube prank is on you. So you're, you're like, oh shit, the, the prank, it might be, I don't know if it's a prank or not. Fuck, I can't figure out these YouTube pranks. Is, I can't figure out if the prank's on me I'm, if I'm supposed to laugh right now or I'm not supposed to laugh and I really want to look like I'm in Joe Biden's herd, I don't want to be busted believing in the wrong narrative. So instead of being hardcore atheist, I'm going to steal a little bit from the left 
I'm going to steal a little bit from the right, but I'm going to be still on the left. And I'm going to say, well, I don't really know, but I kind of lean on the side of atheism, but I'm waiting for some um, religious person to prove it to me. Somebody needs to prove this shit to me, man. Just introduced the word in 1876 during a meeting of Britain's metaphysical society. Huxley's definition was as follows. Agnosticism is... Oh, the it's an ace in the hole for these mentally ill people. It's an ace. In they're, they're thinking, fuck, I got an ace in the hole. I stole a little bit from the left. Nobody could. They're thinking that they got some Jesus Christ shit right here. They're like, fuck, I'm in the middle. The middle's the worst place to be. It's like... You and I will talk and we'll end up saying the middle, but we understand we're talking about the door of Jesus Christ. No, these motherfuckers are literally in the middle. Ugh. It's, it's the worst place to be because it's death and it's the true place of evil past the fabrication of good and evil metaphysical society huxley's definition was as follows agnosticism is the essence of science whether ancient or modern it's yeah see me. yeah this is why neil degrasse tyson is going to be like oh i'm agnostic oh see you, you're not going to get me you can't beat me uh i'm smarter than that i got the ace in the hole i got some from the right got some for hey guys i'm agnostic i'm not atheist oh i'm smarter than that follows agnosticism is the essence of science whether ancient or modern it simply means a man shall not say he knows or believes that which he has no scientific grounds for professing to know or believe the word agnostic okay uh, okay the fact that existence exists um the fact that you can do your science in the first place um there's your first question of so you don't get to go, I, I'm making a choice. No, the fact that you exist, the fact that your science exists. So there's your scientific proof. All of science is your scientific proof. A person who neither believes nor disbelieves in the existence of God. They follow the belief that one can never know the world beyond yeah, sin. See, what, what would be fun is with that very first question, you, we would actually be dealing with everybody's greatest fear right up front because the it, we would ha we would go through that whole world oh it's so confusing and difficult like believing that planet earth is god and that's the that's their fear because we look out at planet earth and we watch the animals kill the animals and we see that we got to kill the animals and eat them and we go this is so barbaric um, this is so traumatic and barbaric I'm going to create a belief system outside of this shit, all, all trauma based. And then we would be dealing with those first questions. You know, remember when you were so green in this, when it was so difficult of like, w w I'm going to believe, oh, I love nature. Oh, you know, those are some green ass motherfucking new people. Some new people at the mystery school talking about, oh, nature is so beautiful and I get out in nature. And yeah, nature's maybe nature is not beautiful because we only know planet Earth. Maybe planet Earth is one big cycle of death and we've never seen what the actual, this could because the existence that we live in is modeled off of a real existence. The, the facsimile that all of life is, is because all of life is a facsimile and we live in a defective version and all we know is and and it and you know what's amazing about what i'm saying is it doesn't take away it doesn't it doesn't matter when you go out into nature i go i love one of my favorites is to go vacation in the redwood forest and i get up in nature i get up in that majesty of it but but i understand at the same time Nature is one evil bitch that wants to kill you. Let's not um, fool ourselves here. We had to create civilization outside of nature because nature is one brutal bitch. When you start to learn all these things and you get it for real and you're not lying to yourself anymore and all that, you, all, you start to actually ex respect um, civilization. You, you stop thinking that nature is somehow God and civilization is somehow the devil. ...of God. They follow the belief that one can never know the world beyond sense and experience. In other words... This is, this is sad. This is sad. This is that Yalta Bayoth stuff. But, it, but at least it's expanded. Because 
Yaltabaoth is the, the explanation of this name. This Yaltabaoth name is someone that cannot see outside themselves. You're stuck in your own head, your own belief system, your own perspective. You need to broaden your horizons, but you're a clinical narcissist. Then you're on that search for power and you live inside your own head and you have an extremely narrow vision. All of the belief that one can never know the world beyond sense and experience. In other words, the real world that we live in day to day. People who are agnostic are often criticized for not being willing to make a choice one way or the other. But this may be hmm. more mis- Now that's ten, that that's literally stealing a little bit from the left, and the, the, they think that they found a cheat code. That's what the uh, that's what you and I are learning right now. That that's what agnostic is. It's the cheat code. It's the ace in the hole for the mentally ill, where they think, oh, wait a minute, I'm not going to claim atheist because then you can back me into a corner. They think that they win arguments with this type of shit. Like, ooh, if I claimed atheist, I, it means I'm hardcore on the blue pillar. But I want to be floaty. I want to be a floaty flip-flopper. How can I be a floaty flip-flopper and I don't get back in, backed into to the corner with arguments and I use it as, as like a badge of honor and, and I pridefully walk around thinking that I'm going to ace in the hole everything that I come across and, oh, watch this, this theft of, of, the, of the, the door of Jesus Christ that creates the hell middle. Oh, I'll do this. I'll do this. Austin, you're often criticized for not being willing to make a choice one way or the other. But this may be more... You, you, Tim Pool, the fence sitter? You, Tim, milk toast, Tim Pool, fence sitting? It's understood criticism, as really many agnostics take a firm stand on the view that we do not... See, understand, if you're new to the mystery school, I'm busting you right now. And I don't even mean to be. I'm talking to... Uh, my friends that have been here for like five and ten years that we've been doing this for a long time and Hey, I'm gonna tell you if you're new at the mystery school We've all conquered this shit and it's you you are 100% in this and you are being busted on your ace in the hole you you come to the mystery school with all of this and you think that you're smart and um Guess what? I'm not just making a video and these are uh, these are real things that we have really th this whole thing where you think that this is the master intelligence. You think that, oh, man, there's cheat code right here. And um, yeah, uh, the, my 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 whole thing is, um, yeah, look how you're busted. Look how you're just flat busted with your game right now misunderstood criticism as really many agnostics take a firm stand on the view that we do not yet have sufficient knowledge and understanding beyond the physical realm and oh nobody could ever know it, 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 you arrive at postmodernism and confuse the issue Ag agnostic means postmodernism it means that you arrive at a nothing you always use you phase cancel the left and the right you phase cancel them into non-existence. You believe that you're a neutral. You walk around life so proud, so arrogant, the pompous fucking bozo, the fucking idiot that you are, thinking that you can ace in, uh, ace the, in the hole every single argument with your little cheat code. Or cannot make any definite assumptions about the existence of God. That's a little well, I mean, nobody could ever know. Everybody's equally guilty. No, the criminal's just the same as... No, everybody's nice. No, everybody's the good guy. The only enemy that we have is Jesus Christ. ...means to be atheist versus agnostic. Now let's do a head-to-head -head comparison on the key differences. Uh, the, the only difference between atheist is the agnostic thinks that they're smarter by doing the cheat code formula. An atheist does not believe in any god, whereas someone who is agnostic does not claim to know whether any god does. I, I don't know. Somebody who's agnostic, I don't know. Nobody could ever know. It's a, I don't know. How do I, how do I confuse it? exist. Two, an atheist would often state that the lack of proof for God is enough proof that God does not exist versus an agnostic the, uh, who does It's not that way. L look how the ego perceived this. The la the just the fact that existed this argument you this argument's a, a steel man this argument's bulletproof um this is what logic and reason is 
um, the fact that existence exists, that's the proof. And the atheist, the ego, the ego perceived this exactly backwards. The, pre the ego said, I need a proof that God exists. Okay, the answer is existence itself. <laughs> like, like this is a, this is pretty easily solvable right here but it's it's yet another thing the ego give the ego a million years and it'll never figure this shit out and it'll still sit there going but i don't i don't believe it'll say shit like this i don't believe in god because you haven't proved it to me okay dummy the fact that existence exists is all the proof that you need state that the lack of proof for God is enough proof that God does not exist. Is that not some bozo shit? Is that not some super ignorant? Su we are swimming in that demi urge. Is that not? And and they do it perfect with the artwork. So prideful with that. It's the ultimate of ignorance. It's the ultimate of, of you're a clown, dude. You're a clown with what you think you're smart with. And they always are so prideful with this, this like... Hey, dude, did you think that that wasn't that nobody could ever overcome that? That was pretty easily overcomable there. An atheist would often state that the lack of proof for God is enough proof that God does not exist versus an agnostic who does not determine the existence or non-existence. Yeah, we, of God. Yeah, we know it, uh, what an agnostic is. It's those weird. Remember the the weirdo postmodernist from what it, that that postmodern video that I've made. I've made like four videos on it. It's become mystery school curriculum. Those those postmodernists of Hollywood and New York City, and that's what that, that's an agnostic. Through proof, instead only states that we cannot know, and therefore you know God those people that make that fucking stupid postmodern art that can't be considered art. You you see that and you go, oh, a crazy person that can't really understand what art is. They made this fucking dumb shit. This postmodern. And it's, and yeah, that the agnostic is the one that makes that fucking wacky, stupid, idiot, postmodern communist art that makes everything decline. And or cannot exist. Three, the two can be classified differently. Atheism is a lack of belief. Agnosticism is a theory of knowledge that supports different belief systems. Four, mm. the approach. Look at this one. Look, look how, look, now let's think of gnosis. Regular old gnosis. You you use your own life. Ex that's what the. That's what I, I'm thinking. That agnostic tries to steal from that. Tries to steal from gnosis. Goes. I, I live my life just letting my own light. Well, you actually need the teachings of Jesus Christ to go along with that. But I'm sure. But that's not what they do. They they don't use their own life experience to. They have a bunch of belief systems and carry a bunch, and then they say that they believe in all the belief systems, and then at the same time they say they believe in none of it. Yeah, the, it all can. Of course, with postmodernism, which we're learning is agnostic, it uses the right and the left to phase cancel each other until nothing exists. So they they say, I believe in everything as I believe in nothing at the same time. Agnosticism is a theory of knowledge that supports different belief systems. Four, the approach to- They say, uh, look at the graphic that they put up. The the atheist says, I don't believe. Agnosticism the, is a theory of- uh, the, the, you, There was never anything to believe in. Okay, so the atheist says, I do not believe. And then the postmodernist fucking wacko motherfucker says this shit. Knowledge that supports. I don't know what to believe. I don't know because I believe in everything and I support everything and I'm everybody's friend and I'm so fucking nice, loving and kind while I'm the anti equation of all of that at the same time. Different belief systems. Four. The approach to each one also differs, where being an atheist is based on what a person hey, does or Hey, 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 chuckling atheist. There was never anything to believe in. Did you want your scientific proof? Existence is all the scientific proof you ever needed, dumb atheist. Okay, argument over. You lose. Believe, but being agnostic cares about what is possible to prove as a living person. Oh, for the for the agnostic, they just come up to you and then they badger you. I don't believe in anything while I believe in everything at the same time, and you have to prove something. Why I don't have to prove anything to you.
I don't need to. The fact that existence exists outweighs your opinion. It's a little bit more strong than your opinion. It's kind of steel man's the argument, you know, it kind of shows you for an idiot, you know, with your opinions while existence is like an absolute. Being atheist is often associated with strong convictions that will only change after proof from other views. Whereas being agnostic is more... Th then I would love it. Then I would love it. The, you, you say that to these two bozo the clowns, which is every bozo the clown, and then they go, you mean... You mean Earth is God? And I go, oh, you're beginning a very long journey right now. Oh, you are going to, you are beginning a very, very difficult, long fucking journey. Sure, dude, let, let, let's begin. Okay, you think I need to prove to you somehow I'm supposed to. Um, you're ignorant, pompous, ego-filled, fucking arrogant, fucking, you're, you're one fucking piece of shit, and you think that I'm supposed to prove something to you while existence itself is just proving it all. There, there's nothing I need to prove to anybody. At all possibilities, and what cannot be known. Oh, look, look how dumb the postmodernist argument comes up with. There are a lot of possibilities. Yeah, you're so far away. Yeah, yes, there's a lot of possibilities inside of existence where ex the fact that existence exists already proves all these things. Atheism L look how dumb it is to have a belief system. L look how dumb it makes you. They think, how, how can this even happen? How can people, be, how can all of existence, and, and because we swim in the demiurge, because all of existence is ignorance and they create a false reality. They create a reality outside of reality where they think that they can chalk up all the absolutes to if they just have a war of opinions against each other. That we as people are here now without a greater purpose, and after death, there is nothing. Agnosticism follows the same view as with the existence of God, but that it might be possible for life after death, though it's just as unlikely. 7. Because of these opposing views, atheists will often criticize agnostics for not taking a firm stand. Likewise, an agnostic might criticize an atheist for being too extreme. Uh, of course, the agnostic is going to criticize the atheist for, for taking a hard stance on something. The agnostic's going to go, oh, atheist, I'm so much smarter than you. I found the, the Tim Pool cheat code. I'm the steal a little bit from the left, steal a little bit from the right guy. Eight. It must be said that an agnostic can be an atheist, but an atheist cannot be an agnostic. Since being atheist... Oh, isn't it? It's traumatic. And I feel for every single human being, and I'm a human being too, that, that it's also me too. Yeah, planet Earth is one traumatic motherfucker. So the, once again, the atheist comes out with, look at how he says it. I still don't believe in God. You're coming up with these things because you're looking at life itself and life is brutal and life is traumatic. And you're saying that shit ain't God. Ooh. And that's all that is. When an atheist is like, I still don't believe it. These things aren't up for you to choose to believe. It's it's this is trauma based. means It's trauma that makes you form a reality outside of reality. When a human being is traumatized, they go into their own world, then the outside world starts triggering them. And this is the this is somebody that's traumatized and the outside world is triggering them. The They've created they're, they're, it's not logical, doesn't make sense to to do this. It, it, to to think that I still don't believe in God. That's not, that's not it, logical. It, it's, it doesn't work that way. Atheist cannot. No, it, it, why would somebody have that belief? Why would somebody say something like that? Those are the words of somebody that's been traumatized. Be an agnostic. Since being atheist by definition means denying the possibility that a God can exist. Or, or, or somebody that has that's in like a, a religious family or just sees religion because that's always the story of the atheist and then it, they see the people that believe in jesus christ and people that think 
that like religion and God and Jesus Christ and all this, they think that it's following a bunch of rules and they do, they make it into a bunch of rules and then they blindly follow it. And then the atheist goes, I'm not doing that, that weird ass religion shit where they've made a bunch of rules and they all punish each other. And I'm not living my life like that. So an atheist gets traumatized by all of that and comes out with this, I don't believe in God. It's the other pillar. The religious pillar claims that you need to believe in God. The, the atheist pillar goes, ooh, I don't want to do that believing in God thing. And neither, it was the matrix. Neither one of those was it. That was the trees of good and evil, where you believe in good or you believe in evil. Agnostic. Since being atheist by definition means denying the possibility that a god can exist. But being agnostic, no god is a possibility. But we may also simply not know what's beyond our physical world. One of the other big differences between atheists and agnostics... And, and of course... It would be, see, I don't, I don't throw this word around lightly because it sounds stupid when people say it and it doesn't have any impact and it's not real. But it, what, what these two are doing is true Satanism. They're creating a reality outside of reality based on each other's opinions. And instead of living by the real law, they're living by laws that they've created with their opinions that is outside of creation. If we went and asked, what is Lucifer? What is Satan? It's the one that said, hey, God, fuck your ways. I'd rather just make my own shit up with my opinions. Well, as human beings, we've made a pact of that to live outside of truth. And we're going to live in opinion in all of our opinions. And we're going to believe that no one could ever know anything. And we're going to confuse the issue of it. That's Satanism, living outside of God. We Look, look how they've created things that don't, that don't make sense, that don't even exist. A, 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 an atheist chooses not to believe in God. That's not something that you get to choose. That's some hardcore Satanism that you created right there. I know what's beyond our physical world. One of the other big differences between atheists and agnostics is we don't tend to recognize people for being agnostic, but we definitely do for being atheist. We took a look I, at- I recognize all these people is like, this is so fucking ignorant shit right here. And it doesn't, it's not, I don't have any bias. It doesn't require any of my belief. It doesn't require anything. It's just, hey guys, look how we're existing. Look at how you, they think that these are questions. They think that these are things that can't be solved. And they're, and they're all, we're at the beginners. We're at the baby table right now. I mean, if these people think that these questions can't be solved, they got no clue of how big this journey really is and how many questions, so many unsolvable questions that they think are absolutely impossible as they all ridicule each other to preserve their Satanism. Few of the most famous atheists and what they believed. We found many of the outspoken atheists are actors. Here's what a few had to say. Daniel Radcliffe, who's best known for playing in the Harry Potter. Oh, here we go. We got those weirdo lefties. The, the, the actors. The actors in Hollywood, they're all the lefty buffoons, but it's the writers that actually write the real stories. You know, we, we got some more left pillar and right pillar with this. So show me what Bozo the Clown here has to say. Said though he doesn't preach atheism, he is a militant atheist when religion starts impacting legislation. Morgan See, this is a person that's traumatized by religion, but let's not pretend that religion's the good side. Religion's the side that says you need to believe in God. And then this is a person that's traumatized by that. Men said that it all comes down to a matter of believing, especially if people... It, it, if, look, it all comes down to a matter of believing. That's their matrix. That's the, the trees of good and evil that started all this shit. But if somebody said, I'm a militant atheist, then you say... Ooh, you're doubly traumatized. Ooh, you you really you're really traumatized by it all, huh? 
legislation. Morgan Freeman said that it all comes down to a matter of believing, especially yeah, if people... He would actually be right. It all comes down to a matter of believing because they all live in a fictional world of their beliefs of things that are easily solvable. Legislation. Morgan Freeman said that it all comes down to a matter of believing, especially if people who believe in God don't think the world is more than 6,000 years old. And Brad Pitt was quoted by MSN as saying, I'm 20% atheist and 80% agnostic. Another famous... It, it, that's exactly it, that would from Brad weirdo fucking super mentally ill Brad Pitt that is so dead nose accurate with that one um yeah because that's what it would be the an agnostic is really an atheist that thinks that oh I got a better way of doing this I got that temple cheat code steal a little bit from the left nobody because they don't want to be cornered they don't want to be cornered in an argument or any argument as like, well, I guess you're taking the stand on the on the blue pillar. I guess that you you claim to be atheist and they go, no, look at this. No, if I steal a little bit from the right, I can claim to be agnostic. Then I can turn everything into post. So they're, they really are atheist that think, oh, I found this this cheat. It's more manipulative if I be the agnostic. So Brad Pitt, if he said, yeah, I'm 20 percent um atheist and because they all because every single agnostic is an atheist that thinks that they found something more cunning and that's the way to understand it they think that they found something that they can manipulate people with that, that's what their cheat code is like oh i'm a super snake in the grass i found something super shifty that i can manipulate everybody with this agnostic thing by MSN as saying, I'm 20% atheist and 80% agnostic. Another famous person where there seems to be some debate in whether he was a believer or not is Albert Einstein, best known for being a yeah. pioneer. Yeah, yeah, we would call that Western science. You're not allowed to understand the consciousness part. Physics, he was born into a second. Oh, you're allowed to do all the, the outside world. Your job is the you get to study the outside world. But once you find the barrier and find that the outside is the same as the inside, well, you're not allowed to go into the inside world. So your barrier, Western science, will be the inside world. Do not go beyond your barrier. Family. As an so yeah, you'll find the world's smartest people that have given us all kinds of physics. You'll find Albert Einstein. Yeah, because your barrier is you're not allowed to study consciousness. You're not allowed to go past your barrier. You call that religion and you stay in your side of everything. He seemed to reject the idea of God, but then he also contradicted himself on a number of occasions. Here are two of Einstein's quotes. I want to know how God created this world. I'm not interested See, in... See, that's exact... That's... That would be Albert Einstein being just in... Using his intuition and being honest. That That's a man saying, yeah, I understand existence is the proof of God. So let's... Let, now let's start asking the questions. And let's start moving beyond that because the whole thing of like, do you believe in God or not? That is not logical and that is actually insane. Yes. Here are two of Einstein's quotes. I want to know how God created this world. I'm not interested in this or that phenomenon in the spectrum of this and that element. I want to know his thoughts. The rest are details. But then he also said... See, and, and look, he's talking... Uh, he's, he's he's going past the barrier and that's what you should be doing that's what yeah he's going past the barrier because he's saying i want to know what god thinks that would be like some godhead shit he wants to do some meditation and he's like okay we studied the outside world now we keep hitting this this wall and we need to move into the area of consciousness so it's re representing represented by saying I want to know the thoughts of God when he created everything. Know how God created this world. I'm not interested in this or that phenomenon in the spectrum of this and that element. I want to know his thoughts. The rest are details. But then he also said, I do not believe in the immortality of the individual, and I consider ethics to be an exclusively human concern with no superhuman authority behind it. Hmm. Atheist, agnostic, or man of faith? We'll let you be the judge. Being atheist or being agnostic seem to be closely related. But oh, and then, and then, yeah, we already talked about it. But um, 
it becomes so dumb that our ego, we can't even understand that it's a, the life that we live right now. The ego can only perceive all of this because the ego is traumatized and it's all fear-based. And we're afraid what's going to happen when we die. But we're not a, we're, we, we don't worry about the lives that we live right now. Often so, of course... Every single time, every single time this whole thing is, is the afterlife. You mean that? No, I mean the life that you're living right now. Stuart, it's the same. How, how are they any different? How is it any different? In fact, they have clear differences, as we've seen. To understand the differences completely, it may sometimes be easier to speak directly to the individual to explore their views on God and the afterlife. Do you think we can ever prove the existence of a God? Well, oh, you know what? Every video when you come to the mystery school you used to watch vi videos like this or just you know I'm, I'm sure maybe videos like this but every single video that you watch now you realize doesn't have an ending and that's one of those things that it, that's that's the shitty part of being the mystery school teacher i open you up to all this new stuff and your life is enriched by them so much and there's always this trade-off now when you watch somebody's video, no matter what video it is, unless it's an actual like real Hollywood movie, unless it's a real movie or a real story, like I just mean a YouTube video or whatever, you've realized nothing has an ending to it. You, you've lived your whole life like that, thinking that all this shit has an ending. Everything ends in, okay, I guess we're stupid. I guess everybody's a fucking idiot. What's your opinion on it? That's a way of getting out of having an ending. Everybody's resorted to this. Okay, so what's your opinion on it? That's a way of, of not having a conclusion. So the the conclusion of this video, just like every video, is okay. So what? Did you have an opinion on this? Says completely. It may sometimes be easier to speak directly to the individual to explore their views on God and the afterlife. Do you think we can ever prove the existence of a God? Let us know by comment. Hey, hey guys, give us comments. Get, it, it helps the algorithm. Gives us more views on YouTube. We make a lot more money. Like that, hey guys, give me your, your comment. Instead of having a conclusion and ever actually learning anything, this is Satanism in Satan's world. So instead of any of that, we have to keep the confusion going. So uh, I don't know. Nobody could ever know anything at all. Did you have a, a stupid idiot opinion and a belief on the on the topic yourself? See, I, lo I love I, I love when people share. There's a whole difference in actually sharing what you've learned, your life experience, all the comments that you guys leave. That's the real stuff. Who cares about um, what somebody had a random opinion on something? See, to understand the differences. Yeah, I, I care about if somebody had an educated guess, you know, what opinion used to mean before the communist takeover and it all truly became Satanism as we have replaced all of truth with this. Oh, did you have a stupid idiot, uneducated, fucking retard opinion on that shit? Uh, well, I, like, how about an educated opinion? How about um, an educated guess? How, how about what you have come to learn? How about how you understand it? How about how you interpret it? How about we don't? Oh, well, I, did you? Um... It's the same, but in fact, they have clear differences, as we've seen. To understand the differences completely, it may sometimes be easier to speak directly to the individual to explore their views on God and the afterlife. Do you think we can ever prove the existence of a God? Let us know. Did, do you ever think that we could prove the existence of a God while existence proves God? I don't know. Do you think that we could ever solve this unsolvable? I don't know. Everything's so unsolvable and no one could ever know anything. So I hope you have the greatest day you can possibly have every day.